This is basic instruction on how to start a turbine helicopter. Many helicopters are powered by the Allison Rolls-Royce Model 250 turbine. Under the pilot's left hand is the collective. The three primary controls are the start button, fuel cutoff release button, and the throttle twist grip. There are three throttle positions. Check the throttle position by advancing the twist all the way from you. This is known as flight idle. Bring the throttle back to the cutoff stop. This is known as ground idle. Press the release button and continue turning the grip to the fuel cutoff position. One of the two most important gauges to watch during engine start is the turbine outlet temperature labeled TOT. The two limits to be aware of is the 840 degree and the 925 degree centigrade. The RPM gauge has two indications of which one is not marked. 15% of the RPM speed is which you introduce fuel. Introduction fuel too early will damage the engine and too late will shorten the starter battery life. To start, press and hold the starter button. Listen for the tick 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 of the igniters. To press or cover the fuel cutoff button. When the RPM reached is 15%, introduce fuel by advancing the throttle twist. Notice how quickly the turbine temperature advances. Do not release the starter button. Notice how quickly the temperature also backs down. If it does not back down, hold. Do not release the starter button. To press the release button, twist the throttle to cut off. No hesitation at all. Wait 10 seconds before you may release the starter button. 